Hello, this is Rachel Cipriano coming to you again for Magnificent Resilience. And I want to talk to you today about how to make sure that you're on top of stress, that you're the boss, that you're in the driver's seat. We've all been there, right? Where we just feel so overwhelmed with our life situations. We want to be on top of things. We want to be resilient but it just seems like too much is coming at us at the same time. Have you ever had a situation like this? I remember years ago, I certainly did. I had moved and the person who I was supposed to be replacing in this shared apartment had refused to move out. In the meantime, I had a job that required me to work both day shift and one midnight shift a month. And for that reason, I could not sleep at all. It was horrible. Then because that other roommate wouldn't move out, I had to move back to where I was before. And in all of this, my boyfriend had broken up with me. So it was just a cadre of different situations that left me like a bug on its back. Now, what do you do? What do you do if you're faced with that situation? I have friends who've lost parents within six months of each other while they were just trying to deal with one situation that was extremely difficult. Another one popped up along with their kids, their job, etc., etc. So how do you manage that kind of stress? Well, I think it goes right back to the pillars of resilience that I've mentioned before. How do you stay emotionally, mentally, physically, and spiritually healthy? Now, what you've got to realize, and I've given this analogy before, is it's like four tires for your car. You know as well as I do, if you only have three, that car's not gonna move. So physically, you're going to have to make sure to eat well, get enough sleep, and um, exercise. It's very difficult when you're in stress to do those things. Let's face it, it's difficult to do those things when you're not in stress. So how much more difficult is it? I don't know about you, but I've definitely been a stress eater before. This is where inner strength is going to have to come in, as well as the other pillars of resilience that will help. The next two are emotional and mental resilience. As I've said many times, these two work together. We can't always change our emotions, but we do have a degree of control over our thoughts. So we have to be very mindful of our thought life. We have to avoid stressful negative situations as much as possible. If you have toxic relatives or toxic coworkers, you have to balance that out. Limit the time with them as much as you possibly can and make sure to fill your mind with plenty of positives and fun programs. You can watch funny comedians or TV shows or movies. Um, you can listen to positive speakers. I've shared how helpful that's been to me. Finally, spiritual. This could include religion, but perhaps for you it just simply means reaching out to others. Sometimes that's the greatest thing we can do to help ourselves when we're in the midst of our storms. If we can rise above and be a blessing to someone else, that can, as a byproduct, help us to get ourselves off our mind and feel better. Well, I hope this video is helpful to you. If you yourself find yourself in those uh, just myriad of challenges today, and even if you're not in that situation, perhaps you will be at some point. So please remember those four pillars. Take care of yourself and you will endure. You will get through. Sometimes we can just feel hopeless we can feel like this has to be the end. There's no way I can endure. I assure you in the end, it's gonna be okay. So if it's not okay right now, then that means it's not the end.
Rachel Cipriano with Magnificent Resilience. Please like, share, and subscribe. I want to get this content in your hands and other people's hands. I want to make a difference. Thank you and have a wonderful day.